one last time. Let's sit down and watch the show one last time. So you can teach me how to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. You and I. Hello, my dear friends. It is a time I never thought that would come. Or I think I could imagine that it would arrive, but a part of me always hoped it never would. It's already starting. This weekend, it was 10 years, 9 year, nine to 10 years ago, that My Little Pony Friendship is Magic started. How fitting that the weekend with the dates closest to the original date, that it ended. I managed to catch up all up to the last, see, to the last episodes that I'm about to watch for you now. I have stated many times that this show means so much to me. As much as many others have probably said already. This show changed my life. For the better, I can safely say. I don't know where or what I would be doing if it wasn't for this show. So I only think that I can do this serious justice by both making a special thank you video that you saw a tease of in the beginning and also to make this last reaction count. To make sure that just like BronyCon, just like the Summer Sun Celebration. Let's make this the best one ever. <laughs> I can't promise it's gonna be. But I will do my best. Or I don't think I will. I think the way I can most pay respect to this show, to what it stands for and what it has done, is to just view it as myself. So yeah, I am in my blankets, took an extra one, paper there, emergency plushies there. So, Grogar and his minions have been planning something for a long time now, or at least Grogar have been planning something. While his newly acquired minions have been planning on how to probably twist that dagger into his back. I am interested to see how this will all go. Like, we know that the ponies will win. But it's about how they get there. And I've heard mixed messages and vibes from many angles, but... I doesn't, I, I'm not hoping that this, that this finale will be perfect. I just hope it will be good. I just hope it will be a good series finale. So if you're all ready, my dear friends, let us watch My Little Pony. Friendship is Magic, Season 9, Episode 24, 25, and 26. The ending of the end and the last problem. The season finale of season 9 and the series finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I'm not ready, but as I'll ever be. In 3, 2, 1, go. Hey there, my unicorn friend. Have you heard? About Princess Twilight Sparkle's coronation? Who hasn't? I'm on my way there now. So much baking to do and... No, no. About the Earth Ponies. I know their crop 
Chris have been underperforming, but... That's not it. I... That is one of Chrysalis's forms. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. How awful. We unicorns have to stick together, right? Sowing the seeds of discord already. <laughs> ah, Chrysalis. Another successful field trip, I presume? Spreading distrust among the unicorns and earth ponies is almost too easy. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. No friendship, no magic. It's so obvious when you think about it. When you put it out like that, yeah. Freaking out the Pegasi. And Grogar's long absence has given me time to prepare the next part of our plan. Oh, so that's what I hide is. This artifact can steal any creature's magic. It holds that magic until it is released by this spell. Which means all the power inside is ours for the taking. You're drooling on the bell. Let's try the spell before Grogar gets back. I'm sick of waiting for that old goat's master plan. Take my hands. So we can all be part of the spell. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Our pact stands. What we do, we do together. Once we defeat the protectors of Equestria, we can claim this land and rule our kingdoms alone once more. Oh my goodness. Oh my, yeah, that is uh, Krogar's magic color and oh my god. Oh my dear. My little pony, my Come on guys, pony. one last time. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be, my little pony. Until you won't share its magic with me. We could venture tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness is an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have my little pony. To be known, you're all my very best friends. Still never got that last note, right? Technically not last time, because we have two other episodes. Twilight Sparkle's coronation is today. And we are going to ruin it with this artifact but to succeed you must work together oh way ahead of you grogar oh dear oh oh wow the bell. you had it all this time you Why didn't did know you tell me? we're villains duh Oh my god! Wait, what? Discord? That was unexpected. Wait, what? Discord was Grogar? Like the whole time. Should we follow him? Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, wait, what? Doesn't she look so adorable? What? And regal up there. Our little Twilight, all grown up. Should we tell her that we've cleared out our royal suite so she and Spike can move in? Oh, maybe wait until I am. The wow, I am still recovering from that. Anything else to worry about today? Uh, you have plenty to worry about. I was wondering how they would put Discord out of the, out of the equation. Not every day the princesses that have ruled Equestria for hundreds of moons retire and pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. Oh, that. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. We've all faced so much and come out okay. I know we're up to the challenge of keeping Equestria safe and happy. There's nothing we can't handle together. Which room? As always, just waiting for the anvil to drop. Royal advisor? What's that? A new position I created for you. 
I sighed for every step of this journey. Knowing I had you to count on gave me the strength I needed to grow and oh, sorry. I wouldn't be here without you. Oh. Thanks, Twilight. You know I'll always be your right hoof dragon. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. So what was this court's plan? And you sure this is where Pinky told us to get the blackberries for her special coronation dessert? Maybe they keep their produce in the back? Nope, this is all we got. But I got a special on these taters. Ah! Um, no thank you. We'll keep looking. What's no. going on? Oh, Twilight, darling, you're just in time. Only one more pre-coronation stop. We're picking up the final touch for your après hors d'oeuvre gown. Is that before or after the royal marshmallow eating contest gown? What? I haven't made one of those! <laughs> you must tell me when they add these sorts of things. I think it was a joke, my dear. I was just joking. Just joking? Day of her coronation? You've come a long way, Twilight. Yeah, usually you would be freaking out. Well, that's odd. They look open. What do you want? Oh, well, this being a thread shop, I thought I might buy some? Put the bits in the mail slot. Holy damn, okay. What was that about? You know, designers don't like being interrupted when they're on a creative role. Uh, I think Celestia's me 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 Chrysalis's meddling has been more successful. It was weird, though. Not many Pegasus I wanted to help me clear the clouds. They were kind of on edge. They're not the only ones. It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Of course, every pony is a little jumpy. Change does that. But I'm sure yeah. it's not because they're worried about you. How could they be? How many times have you saved their flanks by now? You're right. I'll just have to let every pony know that even with Celestia and Luna gone, we'll make sure things stay the same. Twilight! There you are! You mind telling your friend here that I don't need an official guard wherever I go? Especially if he ain't gonna help carry apples? I appreciate you taking such good care of my friends, but we're fine now. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony, like I didn't have a name. And watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. Do not go in that kitchen! You look like you were in a sugar war. For some reason, the bakers are super grouchy with each other. That unicorn chef started throwing dessert at Mrs. Cake! I tried to help, but I got caught in the crowd! Oh dear. Tasty, tasty crossfire. God damn it. You sure this is just pre coronation nerves? Oh, my aching metatarsals. You know, you forget how convenient snap travel is. Wait, did you just walk here on foot? Yes, actually. And I have a confession to make. You see, I might have made the teeniest boo boo. All very well intentioned and noble on my part, of course. Get but, to the point, Discord. Uh, you remember that whole thing with King Sombra? That was slightly my fault, and by slightly, I mean I brought him back. You did? But why? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, which is why I also brought back three other villains who are now on the loose and not really big fans of yours. So, uh, my bad. <gasps> Did he do it as like a part of testing her Let or something? Get this straight. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought back Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and T Rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. And while you united these three villains, you pretended to be Grogar? Discord, how could you do this to Twilight and us? Look what a great job you did defeating Sombra. All the confidence you gained. Remember the cheering? The hoof bumps? Except it was all a lie. A well intended. Oh boy! For all the time you spent with us, you really haven't picked up too much in the way of friendship lessons, huh? Not really. You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? None of our successes were actually real. Of course they were. You just had an extremely good-looking safety net. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. You beastly beast! Don't you know how much this day means to Twilight? And me! I made her dress! Why wait until now for such a horrible plan? 
you don't take a final exam on your first day of class. Just think, after defeating three baddies, Twilight would have to believe that she's the leader we all know she is. You have made a grave misjudgment. Oh. Do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Would you like the good news or the bad news? That wasn't the bad news. All my chaos magic is gone, trapped in Grogar's bell. So what's the good news? Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow now have all of the real Grogar's magic. In what world is that good what? news? Compared to me losing my powers, anything else is good news. Twilight Luna. Oh my god! Maybe it's not too late to stop this disaster from happening. Okay, at least they know now, but I seriously, need, Discord? I need some time to think first. Well, there isn't any time. Look what I overheard them saying. Oh, just listen to my voice and use your imagination. Let the fool go. Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. The lame six are so busy being perfect. They haven't even noticed what we've been up to. Have I mentioned how well, well job, John Delancey. Oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom. Because it's time to destroy Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably on their way to attack Canterlot right now. Then we'll stop them. How? Stopping Sombra by himself was hard enough. And that was with Lord of Chaos training wheels. Twilight, it doesn't matter if Discord set up your successes or not. We believe in you and always have. Lean on your strengths to counter your weaknesses. Discord, I know you're trying to be like a trickster guide thing, but right. seriously. Send a letter to Star Swirl. Tell him we need the pillars to guard the borders of Canterlot. If the villains are coming for a fight, we'll have one waiting for them. With Chrysalis on the loose, she'll go after Starlight. Worn Cadence and Shining Armor. They're our final line of defense. Oh my god, we're gonna go all in on this. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. Oh my god, I'm getting old. You're not going anywhere until you two stop arguing. Chrysalis, say something nice about I'm getting all kinds of Lord of the Rings oh, vibes he's here. Red. T Rex? She's uh, not as annoying as I expected. Good. Now we were talking. At about least these Lord guys still cannot get, get along 100%. The magic inside it. You know how powerful Discord was. That much chaos magic in our veins? But taking it all would be madness. It's impossible for any other creature to control. I guess you did. need a guinea pig to find out if any Or I guess he didn't magic. control the chaos magic I'll itself, just the raw essence of the power inside of it. Oh my god! Oh! Also, I noticed that her cutie mark is now a queen. The chess piece. <laughs> it is chaos magic after all. I still think chaos magic is a good idea. Leave it in the bell. We've got a kingdom to conquer. So, I guess Tyrik only used the raw power of the chaos magic and not the chaos itself. But okay, this is really cool before and we've always succeeded that wouldn't be possible without all of you you're welcome dude read the room so i ask for your help again today in what is our biggest battle yet all of equestria is at stake and i can't do this alone but i'm not afraid because with friendship as our armor and teamwork as our power no pony can ever bring us down oh come on where'd you get that a daily affirmations calendar? Yeesh. That was fast. Well, you're about to wipe the floor with you. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> wow, it's true. Alicorns really do have more fun. We're only like 15 minutes into this. Cantalot depends on us.
Oh boy. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks. Wait, will, wait, will, really? Okay, everyone's getting curve stumps. Magic seasoned with age. Delicious. No. Holy crap. <gasps> Rakuf. Run along. The big stallions are playing. Oh, Somnambula. Warn the princesses. The perfect dessert to a legendary meal. Okay, getting curved stone quite quickly. Stay with your buddy, no running. Just follow Counselor Trixie. Oh yeah, to the star bright. Where's the pony I want to fight? I have to Rhyme. You got this? No pony does a great and powerful escape like Trixie. Oh my god. Just the head mare I want to see. You didn't make an appointment. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Wrong. I can hurt you! Come on, Starlight! Stay still so I can blast you! Oh yeah, real motivating! <laughs> oh yeah, Starlight! Oh. oh my god, oh my god! All eternity to take my revenge on you. Uh, so let's say uh, Luna. Damn down, cozy glow. Gee, I guess I could, but I'm having too much fun. Oh! Uh, princesses. Ready, sister. Wait, what are you? can stop us. <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall, but Equestria will still stand, united in friendship, and we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. 
There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Golly, I think it's time for some redecorating. Jesus! You know what's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. Huh? Holy, uh, that is one sturdy ass rock. How strong is that rock? <laughs> How strong are you Fly you <laughs> What? Okay, before we move on. Uh, slight things I uh, kind of iffy about. First off, the way they curve stomp pretty much everyone would just kind of expect it for a finale. And I have many questions about that rock they used. Oh god, I think I'm being a bit too loud. But seriously, how strong was that walk? How, how strong was that walk? And also, pretty much, I was so way. God damn it. I was so ready. For the Crystal Empire to have like a Rohirrim moment where they were here like the battle horns or something in the distance because they were warned as well, but we haven't seen anything from them. I guess like I really hate if we cut to them and it turns out they've already been taken uh, been taken over. I don't want that. I want the Crystal Empire to do something. Shining Armor and Cadence needs their spotlight. Flory Heart Oh god, what if Flory Heart ends up saving the day? That would be incredible. Alright. Setting up the next episode. But holy crap. Okay, and also, Discord set up the League of Doom. Like, this entire time. As a way to train Twilight. Like, I can see why he was doing it, but... Dude, dude. Like, troubleshoot your plans next time, okay? Give it a draft. Give us a draft, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Second up. End, ending of ending of the end part two three two one go previously on my little pony everything went to Not shit every day the princesses pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends you wanted to boost twilight's confidence so you brought that chrysalis cozy glow and t-rex to attack her i did not see that coming at all you've been setting up challenges for us the whole time haven't you but like for how long has he been setting up challenges? Like only this season? Still questions on how freaking strong that rock was. Ah, my little pony! I just wonder what friendship could be. Okay. So the only ones not accounted for yet are the Crystal Empire. I really hope that they have a good strong role in this finale because the Crystal Empire needs some good points. Like, they have a few but they need more. Shining and Cadence need more. Cozy. Destruction is so permanent. We need to show the rest of Equestria that we've broken their Vogel. heroes first. Okay. Besides, we should have fun with our guests. No! We should hunt down Twilight Sparkle. As long as she's out there, she's dangerous. Is that big, strong minotaur that scared of one little pony? Relax. It's not like her friends are going anywhere. The fools brought the remains of my throne to Canterlot to protect themselves. <laughs> Those shards blocked their magic. The dragons! Uh, the, the changelings! Careful. Too close and the shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the cavern, we're the most powerful beings in Equestria! Thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? What 
are you doing? You saw what happened when you tried to take this Discord's Chaos Magic. Yeah, but there's Alicorn Princess Magic in there now, too. Uh, I could be so much more powerful if I just could have... What do you mean, you could be? They still don't trust Until each other. Well, that will be I'm their the crux. That will be their... That will be their downfall. What are you talking about? The best at what? This is really bad. We gotta find Twilight. She's probably already figured out some way to defeat those monsters. Any idea how we get out of here to do that? Too sticky. There's no way any pony could get through this. Especially without them noticing. So sorry. It made so much sense in my head. Twilight defeats her worst enemies and is filled with confidence. I truly did have the best intentions. I swear I'll make it up to you. I swear. That's gonna need to be a pretty epic makeup. Stay away from the bell, you pest! None of us can use the Alicorn's magic until we figure out how to handle that fool's ridiculous chaos magic! I could always tell you how. It would give you power over all reality, but you'd have to ask nicely and spare my friends. No, Discord! This isn't the way to help! Discord, could you please? Threats are more my speed. Speak! He's lying. He won't tell us. I certainly He won't is thinking tell of you. something. He's Back a crafty the way one. You lied to me last time we teamed up, you muscle-bound cretin. Oh. This cretin could destroy you before you blink. So choose your words carefully. You're right. Cretin is too polite. How about pathetic centaur, who uses magic to compensate for the fact that deep down, he's afraid he'll never be enough to please dear old dad, <gasps> King Vorak? That must be a G1 reference as well. <laughs> you missed! Did he, though? <laughs> Why did Zurich not absorb her magic? Get Twilight! No way! She's always needed you guys! Oh wow! Oh jeez! Find Twilight! We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless! We'll hold them off as long as we can! Pretty epic makeup. Just save Equestria and keep Fluttershy safe. Oh. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Damn, AJ. Why are you out in the open? Hide. Where is every pony? The unicorns have been gathering in Celestia's school of magic ever since the attack. That's where I was headed when I saw you. What about the Earth ponies in Pegasi? It's every pony for themselves. That ain't right. Well, you can all stand out here and debate. I'm going where I'm safe. Christmas oh, God. Telling the truth. They really have turned ponies against each other. Every pony's scared, that's all. We just need to get to Ponyville and find Twilight pronto. She'll know how to set things right. How do you know she's there? Please, stay calm. I know it seems bad, but there's no need to panic. Give us one good reason not to! <laughs> because Ponyville's own heroes of Equestria are here to save us. Where'd all these ponies come from? Earth ponies been pouring in looking for somewhere safe. We don't have unicorn magic to protect us. We're a city in the sky to hide it like those cowardly Pegasus. Oh. Cowardly? They're blocking clouds down. Said they didn't want any grounded ponies up in their business. Listen up, buddy! Don't! That's exactly what Chrysalis and the others want. More fighting. We know you're scared. They're recreating we the know. War of the Three Tribes. You better fix this! Yeah! yeah. yeah. probably as worried as every pony else. Or big mega ship on oh, the apples. That's why I was sure she'd be waiting for us in Ponyville. Where else could she be? I know where Twilight is! Thanks, Celestia, you're all alright. How did you get here She's so fast? Upstairs. It's not good. You're here? I was so worried. Where are the princesses? They put up a crazy fight so we could escape and find you. Mission accomplished. 
Mistake. You all did. What? From the second I got away, I've been searching every book, scroll, and spell for a way to rescue you and stop Chrysalis, T Rex, and Cozy, but I haven't found anything. I failed. You'll come up with something. We can't save Equestria without you. You all escaped without my help. You didn't need me then. So why would any pony need me now? Oh, no, no, no. Twilight, Twilight, we don't need a relapse. But we've been in tough spots before, and we all. Look around. Nothing we've ever done has mattered. Sombra, returned and destroyed the Tree of Harmony. Chrysalis, T-Rex, Cozy Glow, returned and more powerful than ever. The School of Friendship, shut down. Every pony in Equestria is so blinded by fear they can't remember what friendship is. Nothing we do makes any difference. But we're still free and together. And it's not like things could get any worse. Don't say that. The Wendigo! Haven't we learned never to say that by now? Of course! <laughs> the oh. Wendigos! That's just a heartwarming Eve story. Creatures made of wind that spread cold and misery across the land to punish ponies? Seems pretty real to me! Pony infighting creates the, the Wendigo. I deal with this. There's nothing we can do except hide. <laughs> Sandbar! Enchanted wind. We can't control it, and we can't rely on those snooty unicorns for any help. Build up the cloud bank. We'll try to block it. What about every pony down below? They're on their own. We all are. Fortify the shields around the school of magic. We need to protect ourselves. It's all we can do. We have to do something. I've already done enough. Twilight! You want the truth, Twilight? Bad things happen. No matter what you do, there's never gonna be a time when everything's perfect. But that don't mean you quit trying. What if I make things worse? Ever since Celestia told me I was taking over, I've been gaining confidence. Then I find out it's all a lie. Equestria's been falling apart around us and I didn't even notice. What kind of princess does that make me? I'm scared. I probably know more about being scared than any pony. But thanks to all of you, I've learned I'm always less scared when I'm with my friends. If we're facing impossible odds, we're facing them together! It's what we always do, darling. But we're on our own, and we have no idea what to do. That's true pretty much every time something terrible is about to happen. We don't have the elements of harmony anymore. How can you all be so calm about this? Because, even if you don't believe you can do this, we do. We you believe to... in you. In us. You had the magic the of harmony is, in the beginning. Our lives wouldn't be the same if we hadn't met. We're better off because of our friendship with you. So when you say you haven't made a difference, that's just not true. You've made a big difference to us. Thank you. Sometimes even the princess of friendship needs a reminder that there's more to the magic of friendship than rainbow lasers. <laughs> Although, that part is pretty cool. And kind of important. I just we I still need a plan. Still hope and that, that the sounds like the pony I used to full sit for. Count us in. No, you need to stay here and protect Flory Heart. If we don't, if things don't work out, she's Equestria's last hope. Okay, three of our worst. Really, just pushing them out of the story like that? Ancient magic. Every pony in Equestria is so scared and divided that the Windigos are circling, and it's up to us to fix it all. I... What are we gonna do? Can't the other races the help? We do every time, Pinky. Try to save the world. Every prisoner is safely in their cells. Now we can hunt down the rest of the Windigos. I'm not hunting any pony d d d d d down in this weather. Can't we magically get rid of them and w w warm things up? I don't think we should. This could work out quite well for me. You mean us? The harsh weather is the final blow to break the ponies' spirits. Once Equestria is a frozen wasteland, we'll use our magic to destroy those windy beasts. Ponies will be so grateful they'll do whatever I want. The Windigos are ancient magic. It would be unwise to leave them unchecked. Best we deal with them now. We probably should deal with Twilight and her friends before anything else. I thought it was too cold for you to hunt any pony down. 
We don't need to. They're right there. Oh, hi. Think they know we're here? No. Let's say they have an idea. So what the hell are they gonna do? That bell has Discord Celestia and Luna's magic inside. If they use it against us, Discord's magic is so chaotic, he's the only one who can use it. You just can't Still thinking back to season four. before you even realize there was a fight, can you? You can't beat us if we never give up. As long as I have my friends by my side, I'll put my faith in friends. Uh, can we get on with this, please? We need to get that bell and get Discord and the princesses their magic back. Rainbow Dash, Pinky, you're with me. Sweet! I'll grab that bell in ten seconds! No, we're the distraction. They're gonna get the bell. Come out, come out, wherever you are! There! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Oh my god, Pinky. You can't tell me that the Pinky doesn't have it some chaos magic. Do they have to be so annoying? Not annoying. Distracting. Just take it! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> of friendship is your biggest weakness a fitting end to your pathetic story no matter what we face it together. i'm waiting for it i'm waiting for it the rohirrim moment moment give it to me what happened can i open my eyes you sure can way to go twilight hey, what? it's not me Yes! The Rohira rides! Don't let them escape! Which one? All of the all of our changelings! Yes! Yes! I was waiting for this! Whoa. The changelings won't fool them forever, and I don't know how long the unicorn shield will hold. I don't understand. How are you all here? That's kind of our fault. You know those long lectures about friendship you gave at school? Yes, 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 yes! We all know the story of Hearts Warming Eve. We can defeat the Wendigos together. You really think if we all sing a couple songs, everything will be fine? It's not just singing that saved the founders of Equestria. It's what it represented. Earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi become It's the friends. next generation we that saves us! It's the, the children! The most powerful magic there is! Oh my god! Focusing on our differences keeps us divided. Villains and creatures like the Wendigos use that division against us. Yaks strong, ponies strong, but yaks and ponies stronger together! Yaks must be loyal to pony friends! I know helping other creatures by being kind and generous sounds lame, but I've seen how powerful it can be. Playing together, singing together, even laughing together. That's what real heroes look like. Were we really happy by ourselves at the bottom of the ocean? Be honest. It's the ponies that showed us a better way. They taught us how powerful love and the magic of friendship truly is. We can't let them stand alone. We're their friends. They need us. I was waiting for this! How about that? It's just like you said the day we opened that school. The more creatures who know about friendship, the safer we'll be. We told you you had it all figured out! 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Enough! Because of you, I almost lost my way. But every creature here has reminded me of the true power of friendship. There will always be darkness in the world, but there will also always be those who find the light. The pillars knew this. That's oh. why they created the elements of harmony. Uh. The elements showed me and my friends how strong our friendship is. Uh. Together we work to bring harmony to Equestria. But there will always be more to do. Here Which it is why comes. We teach others about the magic of friendship. Others who will continue our mission after we are gone. Now I truly understand. The elements were just symbols. The real magic has always been right here. And the more who understand how powerful friendship a is, tempest the tempest and the hit will all be together. This is bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's gonna be like oh, oh my God. <laughs> Did y'all just kill them? Rain? Discord! Don't look at me. Pinky, it's a Discord <laughs> magical bell. How do you feel? Hmm, tingly, itchy, also like. I can transform the cosmos so everything is made of icing! Perhaps, maybe I should. <laughs> There isn't a punishment worthy of all you've done. So you're gonna die. Oh, that does seem fitting. May I help, please? <laughs> Forever. I can't think of anything that they would want. Oh my god! When I sent you to Podyville, I had high hopes. When you became Princess of Friendship, I knew I made the right choice. But nothing could prepare me for how proud I am right now. Equestria is definitely in the right hooves. You are ready. You know what? I think I am. Thank goodness. A first question, Your Highness. What do we do with all these creatures? We're gonna need a lot more chairs for the coronation. Actually, as ruler of Equestria, I'd like to postpone the coronation for a while. At least until the castle's rebuilt. Besides, there's something we need to do first. Holy crap. House to so that's it. Donuts. Interesting choice. Aww. I know, for there's going to be plenty of time for all the challenges and struggles and adventures to come. For now, I just want to spend a quiet moment with the six best friends I've ever had. Well, mostly quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the end of an era. Or the beginning of an even more awesome era. Don't you fucking do all this to me. All whatever comes next is going to be perfect. How do you know that? With you guys by my side, how could it not? <laughs> All righty then. Holy shit. So that was pretty much everything I wanted. Except for one thing. Poor Cadence and Shining Armor, this was their chance! This was their time! Flory's time! They didn't, they didn't even get to be part of the final group in the end. The Crystal Empire sadly once again pushed to the side. I was waiting for it. I was waiting. 
there are problems, there are nitpicks. But I think this was still a very worthy finale. Oh, I can't quite see that yet. There's one more. Gonna need these. So if you're ready, my friends, let us watch the very last episode of the show. The last problem. In three, two, one, go. I got here as soon as I got Oh my god, this must be years later. Full time job these days. Making peace between Abyssinians and the Diamond Dogs has not been easy. That's why I picked you for the job. <laughs> but I'm glad you could come. So, what's the emergency? Ever <laughs> since I took over Celestia's school, my focus has been on teaching magic. <laughs> but now it seems my top student has missed the most important lesson of all. What do you mean? Let's just say it'll be good to have my royal advisor and friendship ambassador by my side. Your Majesty, she's here. Send her in, Gallus. Gallus is a royal guard. Your Majesty, Lester, I may be the ruler of Equestria, but I'm still just your. What teacher. happened to Celestia? And you've been wonderful. I've enjoyed every moment at the School of Magic, but I'm just not sure it's the right place for me. I see. And it's not the work. I could spend weeks in the library doing research. It's just that there's a lot of focus on making friends. If that's your problem, you've come to the right place. But that's just it. I don't want to make friends. What? What? <clears throat> so you'd rather leave the School of Magic than make friends? I was hoping to set up an independent course of study. I want to accomplish as much as you have someday. It'll be hard to do that without friends. I'm not so sure. Friendship looks like more of a distraction than anything else, and ultimately, a waste of time. Girl, have what? you looked? So have you, you looked at this entire show? Together, but that was so long ago, and as far as I can see, you rule by yourself now. Uh, hello, royal advisor, right here. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I think it's better. Plus, if friendships ultimately fade, why even make them in the first place? You know what, Luster Dawn? You're right. What? She has something up her sleeve, and oh, not even updating the final intro, huh? I just wonder what friendship could be. I, I figured that they would update the intro for the last episode, but Jesus, with Twilight in that Alicorn mode, Princess mode, like holy crap! I so hope they're gonna explain what happened to pretty much everyone else. Give us closure. Give us that uh, closure. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood closure. Friendship is more trouble than it's worth? This is your top student? Friendships take work, and there's no guarantee they'll last. By the way, Twilight, you look glorious, my dear. They can be complicated. They can be messy. And they never go the way you plan. Friendship is a hard thing to navigate. Well, Flory! I remember the first time I realized it might not last forever. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'm just doing a final check, Spike. But we did a final check of every room. It's the final double check, right. you know. Aha! Uh -huh. See? An issue of Power Ponies. Now aren't you glad we triple checked? Thanks, but I already read this one. I don't need to take it to Canelot. No, no, no. You love Power Ponies. We're taking it. <laughs> wow. Really, Twilight? We don't have to bring the comic. I'm not even sure how much longer I'll collect it. A lot is changing, and I am getting older. Just because things change doesn't mean you leave everything you love behind. Oh, oh Twilight. You're not still worried about ruling Equestria, are you? No, I know it took I wonder how long time, into the future we are. I've never been ready for anything in my life. Just because I'm ready to sit on the throne in Canterlot doesn't mean I'm ready to leave Ponyville. When we were all fighting to save Equestria from T-Rex, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow, I was too busy to think about it. But now it's all happening at once. What is? The coronation, moving, leaving our friends. I thought we'd all be ruling Equestria together. Of course we will, but it won't be the same. 
They all have lives here. We're moving away and they're not, and I can't help but feel like we're leaving them behind. What if we all just drift apart? I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe you should talk to them. I bet they're feeling the same way. You're right, Spike. Thanks. Yeah. Sometimes talking to a good friend is all it takes. <sighs> eh, the business. Of course you go to Best Pony first. So, you're not worried about how things might change with me living in Canterlot? Of course not! Change is natural, like the seasons! Best Except Pony! Just life on the farm! I guess so. Anywho, I really need to get all these boxes packed and sorted. There's a lot more work now that the folks beyond Equestria are coming to the coronation, too. Worry? <laughs> no way! Unless you're talking about the coronation, because then, yes. Obviously, the cakes are handled, but there's the whole rest of the party to stay on top of. Honestly, I'm not convinced Gummy really took care of the fireworks. <laughs> Goddamn Gummy! But what about after the coronation? Don't you think things are going to be different? Well, since I'll be in charge of all the Canterlot Gallows from now on, I'll have to go there a lot more. So, I guess that's different, but I don't think I mind. No, of course not. Mm. Aww. Aww. Wonderful work, everyone. We couldn't be more ready. Josephine, if you and the rest of the devs leave now, we should all arrive in Canterlot at the same time. Eloise and Hubert, you should go too. I know it's a long way, but don't worry. I'll bring plenty of snacks to restore your energy before we perform. Freaking guys, Fluttershy can tame swans. She is the most powerful the pony in, in the in the really We need everyone in tip-top shape for the coronation. I'm glad we got the chance for one last rehearsal. Everyone's so excited. But I can't imagine any ponies more excited than you. Moving to Canterlot, being crowned. I can't think of a single bad thing about any of it. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. Aw, is she disappointed? In three, two, one, and... Oh, dear! Look, Rainbow Dash, I know this is important to you, and we all want the routine to be special, but are you sure it needs to be this complicated? Of course! And I know we can pull it off! Sorry, Twilight, I don't have time to talk. We've got a lot more work to do before the coronation. <sighs> oh boy. Darling, change is an integral part of fashion. I myself am considering opening boutiques for non ponies. What? Things must evolve or they become stale. Sp Spike? For example, I was just struck with a sudden inspiration to change my design for your gown by including the webs of these star spiders. They glow for a short while after they're spun. They won't have much time to weave the sash, but the effect will be dazzling. Okay. See, darling, change can be fabulous if you embrace it. Is Twilight disappointed that they're not sharing her worries? Starlight is supposed to come over soon. There's a little something we wanted to give you before we leave. You know what? I think you're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canterlot. We can't leave the power ponies behind. I don't think the power ponies care, Spike. Just like all of our friends. All right, Twilight. Are you ready? We all wanted to see you off, but there's still a lot to do. Aren't you coming on the train? I gotta go with Big Mac so we can go over our packing list, or we won't know who gets what deliveries. And I'm gonna meet the Wonderbolt so we can go over the routine one last time. I'm going with Gummy. He said he knows when the fireworks display should start, but does any pony really believe that? And I still need to pick up food for the swans and doves who flew ahead to Canterlot. If I don't get them fed, they'll be too pooped to perform. Too pooped. Well, I'll be living in Canterlot alone. Might as well take the train alone, too. Twilight? Bye, I guess. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, you won't whoa! Be alone, darling. I'll have just enough time on the train to weave the stuff spider sash for your gown. But you should leave now. There's no time to dawdle if you want the coronation to be perfect. That's the problem. You're also worried about making my coronation perfect, but I'm leaving Ponyville and none of you even care! <gasps> they do care! Exactly. You moved away, your friends didn't care, and that was that. Actually, not exactly. Of course we care that you're moving, Twilight. I can't believe you think we don't. What could possibly make you think that? I tried to talk to you all about how I was feeling, but you seemed more worried about what you had to do for the coronation. It's true. I was there. I suppose it gave us something else to focus on. 
I knew you were worried about everything changing. I guess I thought if I made it seem like everything was okay, it would be. I was just trying to make you feel better. That way I wouldn't feel so terrible. Before I moved to Ponyville, I didn't really know what friendship was. You've all taught me so much. I can't believe it all might be ending. But when I imagine the future, all I can think about is that we won't be together. I'm literally moving away from you and it's terrifying. I'm scared too. Me too. Rattled to the core. Yep. I wouldn't say scared. But just because I won't say it doesn't mean I don't feel it. I'm gonna miss you so much. I just can't stop thinking about how much things are going to change. What, what if we don't Damn see it, guys. each other? What if we don't talk as much? What if we don't stay friends? <laughs> Don't cry. God damn it. You know it's weird, but knowing you're all as upset as I am actually makes me less worried. That's nice. But you should be more worried about missing the train to Canterlot. Sorry I'm so late. I actually thought I'd missed you. There's no time! <laughs> oh poor silence! Oh no, we missed it! But maybe. Okay, we're on the train. Everything should be fine, right? I'd worked out exactly how much time I needed to weave my star spider satch, and now I'm behind. I hope Big Mac can figure out who gets what deliveries on his own. I assume these contain the finest sparkling apple juice? Uh, yep. Oh, the sweet apple egg is applesauce for my coronation parfait. This is uh, the applesauce. Uh, yep. Everything's gonna go wrong. The doves and swans will need to perform after their long flight. I'd better find the food car. And I need to meet the Wonder Bolts. Where's the coronation team? Well, they, they waited, but when you didn't show, they thought you must have meant to meet outside a candlelight. The only thing I'm worried about is Gummy handling the fireworks display. Sure, it's fine. <laughs> well, it could always be worse. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Curse you, sheep! Goodness, Twilight, are you all right? My friends and I had a few hiccups on the way, but everything's fine now. <laughs> we really are both <laughs> just so proud of you. If you need a moment, that's all right. It is your coronation. Although, it would be nice to get started. Are you ready? No! She can't possibly be crowned without her coronation gown! Very well. Citizens of Equestria and beyond. All oh, day I've the big boy eat big dragon. have this land for quite some time. But even we know that change eventually comes to us all. And though we know it can be unsettling, so it's many as people as the rising and setting of the ah! sun and the moon, both of which my sister and I feel confident leaving in the hooves of the pony. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. And so, without further ado, uh, I give you spiders. the new ruler of Equestria, Princess Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry. Oh, what? Um, Twilight? Oh, dear. I know these aren't the snacks I promised, but it's all I could find. <laughs> oh, everything's well, dash good. or no dash, Twilight's about to get that crown. Wonderful, roll out! No, wait! <laughs> to Twilight. Hmm, close enough. Um, okay. 
Okay, I get it now. Your coronation was such a disaster that you and your friends never really recovered, and that's why you all drifted apart. Well, wow. you're half right. First off, negative Nancy over here. Say it off. So, wow. the coronation wasn't a disaster, and your friendships just faded away over time? Not exactly. <sighs> Sorry I'm late, but it is so hard to find a sitter with a sense of humor. Holy cheese. Wait, what? Wait, Honestly, what? Honestly, I would have been here sooner, but you would not believe how busy Yak Yakistan is these days. Maybe we could get to places on time if you let me do some of the chores instead of always doing everything yourself. Maybe I would if you did them the right way. Wait, oh, what? <laughs> sorry. Wait, We're what? Not the last ones, are we? Discord's headed to an O and O convention where he'd be joining us. I just assume that since you aren't together all the time now, that we aren't friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point of my story. It's true my coronation was a disaster. Well, at least the coronation is over. <sighs> <laughs> that was something. I was just about to say the same thing. Oh my thing. god, this reminds me of the maybe it finale wasn't to the, the coronation first you planned, but it's good to see all of you laughing. We wanted to give this to you before you left Ponyville, but things got a little hectic. Since you're moving away, we thought if you missed any of us, or Ponyville, this might help. Oh no, what is it? No, oh, don't you do this! It's a book of memories! And we all chipped in so. No matter how much things change, you always have this to look back on. I love it. Thank you so much. But I don't want to only look back. Obviously the coronation wasn't perfect. But that doesn't matter. It's our relationships that really count, and we have to maintain them. But now that we'll be living in different places, I'm not exactly sure how. I am. I suggest we meet once a moon. In fact, my first royal decree as ruler of Equestria is to establish this Council of Friendship. Yes, the Council of Friendship. And what a wonderful decree it is. We always knew that what God, you look weird without your crowns. You and your friends would find your way through it together. We know Equestria is in the perfect hooves with you and your friends looking out for it. And while we'll always be here if you need us, it's time for us to be on our way. You're leaving? We hope oh. you'll come and visit us in Silver Shoals. But now it's oh. time for you to rule on your own. You're all more than capable. Thank you for everything. <laughs> so... Even though everything changed, and you moved away from your friends, you didn't grow apart? And this is the Council of Friendship. That's what you're all doing here? Yeah, this time every moon. <laughs> what she means is, this is how we've been ruling together. And how we've continued to face every problem and threat to Equestria over the years. How long has but it mostly, been? it's how we keep in touch. No matter how busy life gets. Sometimes friendships can be hard, and it takes work to maintain them. But without friends, things can be a lot harder. I never thought about friendship being something to work at, and I don't mind work. I guess if they don't have to fade away, maybe making friends isn't the waste of time I thought. But uh, I've been so focused on my studies, I wouldn't know where to start. That's all right, because I know exactly where to send you. When I started out, I was unsure. I thought I knew all that I needed Didn't know what to expect But when my walls came down I saw the truth All along something was missing And I think you'll see it too This is where the magic happens This is where the magic lives Our friendships weave together What's big mag of sugar?
doing? It's actually over. That was My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 9 and the show as a whole I need some time I'll be right back So, before I get to the sappy stuff, let us quickly take a look at how the finale was as a whole. It was not perfect. It wasn't. There were some things that I disagreed with. I am sad that the Crystal Empire has just been pretty much pushed to the side. Even here in the last episode, even here in the last problem, didn't see a glimpse of shining armor and cadence. We saw Flurry Heart in uh, the stained glass, so I guess she ascended to the Crystal Queen. But we don't know what happened to them. All of their crystal. I, I, I'm so sad that the Crystal Empire has been pretty much forgotten. 
here in the newer times. And even though it's to it's it is to be expected with a show like this and the structure it goes through that the curb stomping of so many of the of the groups we know in like in the beginning where Kosiko Chrysalis and Tirek like went out, the way they just stormed and everybody. Uh that that was like Understandable but tiring. Discord's plot was... <laughs> what did you expect, man? What did you expect to happen? Or, well, like, he, he knew what he was expecting to happen. So it's just like... He had... It does make more sense now, because... Well, sometimes it seems like Discord doesn't think things all the way through. Um... Uh, but yeah, that made sense to me. Even the way that he lost his power, it does make sense. Uh, otherwise, like those are my main issues: the curve stomping and the the Crystal Empire being pushed away. Otherwise, I fairly enjoyed it. And also, my explanation for why T-Rex couldn't says he can't use the, the chaos magic. Weirdly enough, they never addressed it. Um, like, a quick explanation of the Season 4 finale would help. My guess is that because that it seems that uh, T-Rex doesn't use... The inheritance that comes with whatever magic that he is consuming, just the raw essence of it. Which and why still couldn't he absorb that? That is probably something that many are going to harp on. Um and Yeah, those are probably my main issues. Otherwise I just really like what uh what what has happened. And <laughs> My, 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 what a car... Like, that must have been cathartic for, uh, for Discord. Uh, as a... To give that punishment to the three villains. Like, let's... Let's give them a taste of what I have had the last thousand years. And now the princesses have gone to the retirement home. Uh... Cheese and Pinky got together, had a kid? Like, Jesus, like... This was, must have been like fair many, many, many years into the future. Uh, Rarity seemed... Doesn't seem to have hitched up with anyone. Uh, had a fabulous cloak on. Uh, I swear they hinted at Applejack and Rainbow Dash being together. Because the, the conversation they had and all, that just gave me a vibe like... Are they, are they together now? Or at least like live together? Uh, uh, Fluttershy is still with the animal place and Discord. Oh, that's cool. Um, I think that was all of them. Pinky Fly, Rarity, together. Uh, it seems like uh, Starlight and uh, Sunburst has come together. That's awesome. Uh, all of the student six having grown up. Like, Gallus is one of the Royal Guard. The new Royal Guard. That is so cool. The CMC are teachers at the School of Friendship. And Sugar Bell and Big Mac has a kid. And they have three dogs. Oh, I just realized I had... Oh, I don't... I have, may have to rewatch it later, but I didn't see Granny Smith anywhere. Oh, no. She was pretty old. Oh man, it's just so many things I really love about this this finale. It wasn't perfect, not at all. There were problems, but I think it still carried what was most important about My Little Pony. It carried on the themes 
that has been laid out ever since the beginning. Friendship. We make jokes about it on the media, we poke fun at the trope, but... We, we, it's real. Friendship throughout the ages, I quoted a, a quiz riggle song. This was indeed the end of an era. An era I have been actively a part of the last, good lord, seven years? My life would not have been the same if I hadn't found this show. Because through it I've made some of the most amazing friends I've ever had. Inspired me, giving me opportunities. It will take me a while to fully... Actually, no. Actually, maybe. I'm still, I'm still not settled on if I have accepted that the show has ended yet probably gotta go and cry out on twitter discord and skype to all friends and people fuck those people who sent staff death death threats over this finale seriously fuck those people. If you are one of, if one of you watching right now, if you are one of those people, like it's okay to dis to disagree on opinions, it's okay to dislike something. But if you are one of those people who sent the staff, Big Jim, and all of the rest death threats because of this finale, get the fuck out. Unsubscribe, unfollow, get away. Because I don't want you. No one would. People can disagree about a finale like this. People can have different opinions. I'm sure I'm gonna go out and see people dislike this finale. I'm sure I'm gonna see reviews in the future like Voice of Reason and this movie. They may have big problems about it. But you know what the big fucking difference is? They do not take it out on the people who have worked tirelessly on this show for so long. Just because your little wish-making didn't come true. Well, it sucks, doesn't it? I didn't get what I wanted. I didn't get the Crystal Empire having a bigger role. I didn't have Sikora having a focused episode, even, even though she was heavily featured in one. But that is no FUCKING REASON to send death threats to those hardworking people. So if you are one of those, get away. Go. Go to another channel that accepts you. Because I don't. Death threats over stupid shit like that does not belong here. Oh, that's clear because... In case you haven't noticed, I love this show. I love the people behind it. Fun fact. Um, people know at this point that I started watching the show because a friend of mine dare, dared me to do it. But it also was the show that inspired me to, well, pursue voice acting. By watching the voice actresses on panels. And that... Those people, this fandom, everyone have inspired me to do more. To be bigger than I am. I have made friends across the world. Here in Europe, over the Atlantic, in Australia and Asia. Actually, I don't think in Asia like any prominent friends. And the, the point is... Through this show, I have met so many wonderful, wonderful people. Some of them I've seen at BronyCon. Some of them I chat with every day. I will never forget this show. Never. I 
I'm crying, so, I'm, so it's okay that I that I put out my nose. I don't know when this video will come up. It'll take a while. My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Generation four. Has not, has now sadly ended. But that doesn't mean that the magic itself has to end. As Brodies, it is our duty, our task to carry that magic. To put it into everything we do. To put it to towards any people that we meet and talk to. All of the friends we make, all of the future ones to come, all of the projects, our plans. We need to carry this magic, to carry this torch. That's what this show has entrusted to us. It has entrusted we have learned this magic. And now we'll take it out. We'll now take it out to the world and do our best to make it better. The Brony fandom is not as strong as it was some years ago. I think around 2015 it was at its peak. It has slowly dwindled since then. But, as long as there's one one of you in the world that holds the magic of this show in, in your hearts. As long as there's still a group of weird, nerdy people from a around the world. Not even nerdy, just around a, so a group of weird people from around the world can come together and cry and laugh and remember the times we all fell in love. With a silly ass show about pastel covered horse colored horses that ran around making friends hugs and sang. As long as we're able to do that, the memory of this show will never die. Friendship throughout the ages, through time, through obstacles, through good and bad times. Keep that spirit of friendship alive. I know I will. And I hope that all of you will be there with me. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to the amazing people here and from the Patreon who support me. Thank you all who have been with me for these last many years. No matter when you came, no matter why, I am ever thankful that you decided to stop by and watch this weird ass pastry man watching a show about colorful horses. Colorful horses. G5 is, in, is the future now. I will be there. I will give it a chance. And just like this finale, I, I, I'm not hoping that it's perfect I'm just hoping that it's good and that it carries the honor and glory that this show did so thank you all so much for watching my dear friends tell me what you think about this series finale in the comments below be nice to each other love each other cherish each other and always remember to treat yourselves once in a while. My name has been Johnny Fireflame. And I'll see you guys. Next time. Oh and by the way. Season 10 being in comics. That doesn't count. That doesn't count.